most primary processing is done in reactors where reactions of different products are carried out in a controlled environment. Achieving consistent product quality for each batch is critical. Traditional systems could lead to inconsistencies in raw material intake, impacting product quality and process and energy efficiency. Similarly, conventionally managing pH-dependent reactions could result in inaccurate or longer batch times. In multi-utility reactors, steam, cooling and chilled water are supplied to the same jacket. Conventional utility hookups can cause fluctuations in heating and cooling profiles, temperature overshoots, inconsistencies in batches, and contamination between utilities. Condensate which gets contaminated during changeovers is drained to the ETP or cooling tower. Steam load for these batch processes is significantly higher at startup. Conventional traps are not able to completely evacuate condensate and the need to be bypassed leading to steam loss. Common issues faced include higher startup and batch times, fluctuating process parameters, inconsistent product quality, draining of condensate, increasing cooling tower or ETP load, higher energy consumption. Forbes Marshall provides a complete solution designed to address these issues. Accurate mass level and flow measurement for precise management of inputs, eliminating variations, Utility control with pressure and temperature sensors to ensure precise temperature profiles as per the recipe. pH or temperature-based automation for precise chemical dosing without manual intervention for consistent batch quality and productivity. Multi-utility process trap to effectively discharge startup and running condensate loads, eliminating water hammer and steam loss due to open bypasses. TDS and temperature-based system to monitor condensate quality and recover only pure condensate. And complete reactor automation. The holistic solution ensures consistent product quality across batches, optimum startup and batch times, safe operations, equipment uptime, lowest energy consumption, lower effluent load and water consumption, reduced operator dependency,